This is the App Class channel. In this video, we introduced Among Us. Among Us is one of the most popular real-time multiplayer games. Very easy to get started and fun to play. Today, with more than 100 million downloads and it's free. It's a game of teamwork and betrayal. The players are either crewmates or imposters. You can play online with 4 to 10 players. By default, you can move around by joystick or alternatively change the setting to touch mode. You can enter into the assignments by a click on the Use Triangle. You can either have private mode where only your friends can join or the public mode. The games take place in a spaceship preparing for departure. And each player has a map of a spaceship. Everyone has their own individual assignments shown on their map. The crewmates win if they can complete all the tasks or can discover the imposters. The imposters try to kill everyone and sabotage the mission. When a member discovers a dead body or call for an emergency meeting, all players gather to discuss what happened. Here, the imposters try to deceive others by false information. At the end of each emergency meeting, there will be a voting session to guess who the imposters are. Let's go to the game and check the details one by one. For quick start, press online. The private mode is for playing with your friends. Here, you need a code to enter to the game. The code should be generated by one of the friends and given to others so that they can enter the code here and join the group. For creating a game, go to host to create a game and a code. Alternatively, to play with anyone online, you can go to public. Your name in the game is shown at the top and you can change it. Let's see how to create a game as a host. You can choose the map. There are three options. Number of imposters, usually one is preferred a number of players and chat language. Then press confirm. You have a code here which you can share with your friends to use and to join you in private mode. On the private bottom, if you click you can change to public mode to let anyone else online to join and it's not limited to only your friends. Here I move around by the joystick on the left. Settings on the left, number of players and the chat room. Click on setting. Here you can change the control from joystick to touch. If you go here to the computer, you can customize the setting by a click on the customize. For example, the color, hat, and all the game settings, such as the speed of the game at different steps and more. Let's see several examples to get a feeling of how it works. Here, I created a game as a host and changed from private to public. And now, anyone can join and when we reach 10, the game starts. I'm now a crewmate and there is one imposter among us. Game starts from the lobby or cafeteria. There is one emergency button in the middle. Anyone can press it after a few seconds from the game starts to call for emergency meeting and voting session. In order to do any action, click on the use button. Another way to call for emergency meeting is when a crewmate finds a dead body. Then they can report directly and call for a meeting. We have that example later in the video. As a crewmate, you need to finish the task as soon as possible and if everyone does it, then the crewmates win. To see your task, go to the map. Here, you see I have four tasks shown by exclamation mark on the map. You can also see them as a to-do list on the top. Here I'm doing my first task. I first found the location. It becomes highlighted. Press use. Use the touch screen to do the task. Here, pull down by touching in order to empty the garbage. One out of two times finished. See here. Now another player has found a dead body killed by the imposter and reported it and therefore an emergency meeting will be started. And the players discuss what they know. The person with the loudspeaker symbol is the one who reported the dead body. It seems several people suggested the player imposter to be the imposter. I also take the chance and vote for that. I could also skip. The voting result was successful and we identified the imposter. Therefore, the crewmates won the game. It went too fast, but usually it's not so easy and we were a bit lucky this time. Let's see some examples of the different tasks the crewmates can do. Here are two tasks that can be done in the electricity room. This is to touch and destroy the asteroids in weapons room. In the admin room, you can view where different persons are. 
that can be useful to get some idea of what is happening around. There might also be some tasks to do here, like this one, which is to swipe a card. In the security room, you can have a look at the cameras and see what's going on. Sometimes it can give a clue. For example, if an imposter kills someone, sabotage or use the vents. Only an imposter can do these things. Now let's see some of the things the imposter can do. He can sabotage when inside the room by clicking on the sabotage button. He can then hide in the vents or use the vents to go to another room. Only imposters can use the vents. The crewmates then have a time limit to fix the sabotage. If they can't do it on time, then the imposter wins. In this example, you saw they managed to fix the problem and the alarm was stopped. In this example, you see how the imposter kills a crewmate by clicking on the kill button and then goes through vents to another room. Here, a crewmate finds a dead body and reports and calls for an emergency meeting. The voting session starts and although one crewmate tries to tell that the imposter is Alibaba, the others do not believe it and vote for another person. That person will be removed from the game and the imposter goes undetected. In this case, the imposter kills a crewmate. The crewmate who is dead will be a ghost inside a spaceship and can still try to finish all his remaining tasks, but he cannot communicate with others. Here, when a crewmate finds a dead body, he can report the incident and then the emergency meeting starts accordingly. I hope you liked this brief introduction of the Among Us game. And if you're interested to know more about top-rated mobile apps, please subscribe to our channel to get notification when our new videos are released.